Okay, we have our Yetta 1851 Navy. This particular one, CL, is the one that was made. Now this gun was new and all it did was jam on me. Uh, I had a ton of problems with cap jams, malfunctions. If you watch the other videos, you've seen it. So, <coughs> what we've done is got the slick shot nipples on here. So we're going to put the slick shot nipple, we got them on. And we're going to go with a 20 grain charge with our big glue bullets. That's the bullets that gave me the problems. Them little 100 grain big glue bullets with a 20 grain charge would shoot well, but that's where the caps were blasting off and give me all the problems. So we're going to load that up first with a 20 grain charge, and we're going to see if these slick shot nipples help with the cap jam problem. Okay, we're out here for 1851 Navy. Now this thing jammed on me consistently no matter what I fired. And I was testing those big loop bullets uh, with this gun. And what I found that the 20 grain charge gave me the best accuracy, but it also created the worst cap jam. So we got the slick shot nipples, and we're going to give it a go and see what we end up with here. No cap jams, nice 100% function, no problems, and let's go check our bullet out. Now, not too bad. That's what the 20 grain charge did well the last time when I was testing this brand new bullet out. It's a 100, 110 grain bullet. It's a light one. Uh, and it's got the big lube groove so you don't have to put a wad or any of that stuff on there. It's quick, easy to load. Very good. So now uh, I'm going to try 20 grain charge with that new flat bullet that uh, I have. And that's going to be the flat bullet. I'm going to put grease over the cylinder. Eventually when I start getting them produced I will dip them and fill that band with lube so it'll eliminate that be quicker loading. But we're going to give that one a try in this gun with the 20 grain charge. Okay, we have our new bullet, a new style. And basically, once you ram that in there, it's kind of like a wad cutter. It flattens right out. So, this is 130 grains. We're going to try it with 20 grains of uh, triple F. Well, no cap jams, no malfunctions. Uh, it's functioning a lot better. Let's go see how we did. One, two, three, one, two, three. Not too terrible, but I got some more 20 grain charges. I'll try another cylinder with this bullet. 
and see it appears to be shooting a little high a little higher than the other one point of aim and slightly towards the left so we'll try some more of those new bullets use them up and then we'll get some Richmond lab run in here also okay we're gonna do another 20 grain load with our brand new custom big lube style bullet As you see, no jams, no malfunctions, 20 grain charge. And I did a little bit better this time. I think more of it's me getting my shaping down. 20 grain charge with that and this gun seems to be fairly good. But as we're going, no more cap jams. So on slick shot nipples are kind of solving the problem. All right, Richmond Lab with 16 grain charge. Okay, so far no jam. We've been jam free. Is what we like. Could be the heat. Usually I do better with the Richmond Lab bullets. But still not too terrible. I don't think it's a good day for me shooting. Alright, we'll go do a conclusion and wrap this video up. Okay. Our Pieta 1851 Navy. Uh, I bought this gun new and I constantly had problems with cap jams, especially when you're using the conical bullets, heavier bullets. Round balls, it, it, it did okay with a light charge. Uh, but investing in the slick shot nipples, now the gun runs virtually trouble free. You get a little bit of uh, caps flayed out, maybe slowing you down or getting caught but the gun works an awful lot better and functions much nicer with the slick shot nipples and I think it kind of varies from gun to gun in quality but on a cold style revolver uh, I'm gonna have to say you know if you want 100% trouble free they're worth the 30 some dollars for 40 bucks to buy a set and replace the factory but there we go. That's our last testing of the slick shots. We, you know, fired quite a few rounds and no problem.